This is behind my house. I come here quite a lot to photograph ideas I have because I love all the textures and the colors here. I think they're really beautiful. Bitchlet shoots in this corner here. Bitchlet does really big poos. They're really pretty, actually. <laughs> I'm Salvia and I'm in my bedroom in Wales and I'm going to be showing you how I get ready. I'm gonna start with tubes. I'm obsessed with tubes, they're one of my favorite things to use. I'm going to be super gluing them from my nose to my forehead. It's going to separate my eyes apart and create a more cat-like alien face, essentially. I'm going to start by cutting them so that they fit nicely. Fuck. I like the angle like this because it needs to be quite flat and sharp so that it lays nicely on my skin. I love how futuristic they look and I love how medical and alien they look. Okay, that looks good. Now that the tubes are cut, I'm going to use super glue because it's quick and it holds them for as long as I want them to be there. I feel pretty happy with that positioning, I think. I think the origin of my makeup started with paintings that I was doing. When I was around, I guess, 13, I started doing drawings and oil paintings. They weren't of aliens necessarily, they were kind of humans that had been modified heavily and they looked kind of half alien, half animal. I kind of lost interest in drawing and painting when I started doing my own makeup because it was way more fulfilling for me to be creating the looks in 3D and bringing them to life. Oh my god, super glue's not meant to be on your face. I created this method myself, so I don't actually know like how you're supposed to do it if you're like a prosthetic makeup artist. If you're willing to just push yourself and not have any kind of judgments towards your like instincts, you can kind of just make what you want to make and create something beautiful. Oh my god, it's worth it for the fantasy. Some of the things that I think influenced me when I was younger that kind of inspired me was just watching like videos on YouTube of fashion shows. I was obsessed with Alexander McQueen shows and videos of people like Lee Bowery. I would re-watch like Lady Gaga's music videos like hundreds and hundreds of times. I loved music videos and fashion shows. They were just like, made me feel comfortable and safe and took me away from Wales. So now that my super glue has dried, I'm going to be putting foundation all over my face. Foundation's an important part of my makeup just because I shave my head and it, even though I shave it down to the skin, there's still a shadow that's there and I really want to like hide that shadow as much as possible and make it look like my hairline is naturally up here rather than as if my head is half shaved. I just want it to look like I have a giant forehead essentially. I've never understood a lot of people's obsessions with having a small forehead and they think big is so beautiful. Moving to London for me was a very important experience because I kind of found a huge amount of confidence and freedom living there because I was just, I wasn't being dragged down by all the sadness and anxiety that I'd kind of developed whilst being in Wales. I had quite a bad experience growing up and with being bullied. I've never really been interested in doing looks purely for in the internet or purely for a project or a creation. I've always loved just looking like this, just for my day-to-day -day life. If I'm dressed and I've got my makeup on, sometimes just living and going out and interacting with the world can be its own performance and its own art piece because it can be so theatrical and beautiful. But I think everybody's doing that. I don't think that's something that's exclusive to me. I think everybody does that in their own way. Part of the influence for my eye shape is um, a trend that I saw happening in Korea where people would 
highlight the eye bag and create some more shadow underneath. And I just, when I saw it, I thought it looked so cute and it also kind of resembles the way I would draw eyes when I did paintings. I have a very strong vision of what I want and what I consider to be beautiful for myself and for my own world. I remember the first time I ever tried using white eyeliner and white mascara. I was like quite blown away by how beautiful I felt, I guess. It was amazing. I definitely get frustrated sometimes with how limiting physics can be and biology can be. I don't think there should be really any limits. Nello is a project I created with my partner, Palma Ham, and it's essentially a mixture between fetish, art, fashion, and performance. I think in order to live life in a way that's as fulfilling as possible, it's important to address your fears and kind of push yourself as far as possible and never really stop. I think there's always more boundaries and more limits and more fears that need to be addressed. The next step is going to be putting red on the inner corner of my eye to kind of pull my eyes down and make them look slightly more cat-like. Later on this red is also going to blend in with the red sclera lenses that I'm going to be wearing. I think my drive to kind of address fears comes from my personal need to get over fears that I have developed due to my own experiences and the way that I've been affected, I guess, by society and by the way I grew up in Wales. Hopefully it can also help people see a way to express themselves and help them with their own personal growth and recovery from constant trauma that is living. So to start my lips, I'm going to put white eyeliner all over my lips. I think at night time is when I'm most creative usually, so I quite often stay up all night. Um, I've created a lot of like projects and images that are based in my garden. I feel very safe and I feel at home there. The most like ambitious thing I guess I've done in my garden was building a big wooden frame and then kind of hanging myself from it. I often also have multiples of myself because I want to do too many things. I'm going to start with putting a shadow down the center of my lips. I struggled a lot with being censored online because of the way I express myself is so, I guess, extreme. I can make a lot of people very violent and angry and shocked and I'll have posts removed that aren't sexual, posts that aren't violent or aggressive really in any way. Next, I'm going to be adding a darker eyeshadow onto the kind of the details to enhance the shapes I want. I'm going to put highlighter now on my cheeks and a little bit on my brow bone to make myself look a bit more alien and a bit more wet. I want to look kind of newborn. The final step of my makeup is going to be putting in my sclera contact lenses. This is just going to kind of complete the look for me and it's going to make the makeup overall look far more intense. A lot of the things I do for my look is quite painful, but it's worth it for me. I'm really obsessed with the colour of this wig because it's kind of, it's not really blonde or ginger, it's kind of almost like beige hair. It's almost like skin coloured hair. And I've also kind of created this like really like frizzy, like a fluffy texture. I'm going to remove the wig that I'm wearing right now and put this one on. I don't normally have to modify my wigs much, I'll just wear them as they are. I'll just wear them further back on my head to kind of create a new style rather than just wearing it as it's supposed to be worn. With this wig though I did style it a bit so that I could give it this like big fluffy texture at the bottom. Now that I'm happy with my hair and makeup and I feel complete, I'm going to be putting on a dress that I made a couple of years ago. I think it's a perfect look for going on a bike ride around the village. I'm 
feeling very happy about this look. I feel very good in myself. I'm wearing my white pleaser boots today. I think they're really pretty. I like how powerful I feel when I wear heels. I think I feel sad when I wear flat shoes. I do wish that um, they were taller though. I think it would be even better. One of my favorite things to do when I'm in Wales is ride my bicycle. I find it really calming and it's a good space to be in to kind of come up with some ideas, I think. Just makeup and hair and clothes and pictures. I want to create more. 